first of all before i start this video i want to call out all the medical students both medicine and surgery radiography nursing all of them that i used to know before now i want to call you all out and give you a very big hug because you all deserve it and another set of people want to give a very big hug and do like thumbs up uh my pharmacy students like this these guys when we were back in school they used to write the exam under one week highest two weeks but i'm very sure it's like back to back to back to back if students studying eh it's be as if like education is ending that that year so i want to give you guys a thumbs up a very big thumbs up you guys merit it you guys are like the real g's if you guys are like oh no i cannot wait education <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is vera if you're new here please make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel turn on your post notifications so you get notified each time i upload on this channel and with that being said let's get into my video so guys why i was saying what i was saying when i started this video is because i just concluded my mid introductory examination that's the first examination i'm writing as a nurse student and i saw shege like sugar pro mass okay when i said i saw sugar I, I literally saw sugar first of all when i was congratulating my medical students whatever is because they they would learn a lot under a very short period of time they will, you have to know it if they are writing exam is either you know it or you don't know it you cannot ask anybody any question guys camera is in our class in the class in fact all the classes in my school camera is there the exam you're right you know we are learning you know anything the camera is there watching you in case they will just catch you and they'll sit panel or be they will do panel or whatever they call it on your head they'll just be coming and be showing you if your parents are dead they'll say oh, look, how, look how what your child will do oh guy if you don't read Eh, you're in Wahala. And if you're in the exam hall, anything you don't know, just submit your book like that. Just submit your book. Don't even implicate it. Don't even ask for pen. Oppo, if you are writing an exam, you cannot ask for pen, you cannot ask for pencil. Why am I sweating? You cannot ask for pencil, you cannot ask for nothing. Come with your own. Because camera will not say will not tell them what you are saying. What the camera is showing them that you talk to. You cannot justify that you are saying, hey, meet your pencil. Who knows? Maybe you're asking for number one question. I say, yeah. Like, hell. Then my fancy students, wow, I was giving you guys thumbs up. Because, no, guys, wait. Never eh. So, when we were in school, these guys, the way they used to, the way they used to study, they used to study back to back to back. Because if there's that stuff like this, there is only one way. That's, the exams I wrote, I've never written an exam under this condition ever in my life, ever. Like writing an exam under one week, two papers a day. I know, like when I was in uni, sometimes one of money and money will write like two papers, but after like how many days, four days in Tabar Godu, Ew. I saw that everything was just new. I was frustrated. Sometimes I'll lying down on my bed, I'll be like, why did I choose this part in my life? Why do I why, why am I suffering myself? Okay, I'll be studying the very like everywhere is damn quiet. I'll be studying. If I stand up, I'll sit down, I will lie down, I'll be studying, and my eyes are heavy, like literally bulging out. If you had seen me like last week, my eyes were so heavy, I'll be sleeping and waking up and reading. Ah, I said, God, what kind of life is this? Why did I put myself in such situation? Like I wanted to quit out like I, this is just the first exam and I'm like I want to quit out like mm -mm. this is not my person this is not my personality this is not what I'm made of I can't quit we are not Peters okay I am not a Peter say it for yourself you're not a Peter too baby so and you know the worst thing to crown it all up there is something that is associated with NEPA people and exam period if for that time you are very 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 in need of NEPA here we raise the light like this i'm sweating now i'm it's even it's even fair i'm not even sweating much that period there it was a safe like they opened the furnace and uh, maybe around my house i was like it was gushing out my body in the middle of now i opened my window open my door 
mosquito will bite. Okay, half shirt or half mosquito repellent. I will apply. If you apply mosquito repellent, kids will start doing more. You scream now. Nah. You push shirt off. You open your window. When the shirt off, has means that he's a um, mosquito will still enter. And I did the worst thing of my life. Okay, I know I'm allergic to net. I cannot use net like that is kind of one year old or something. It has to be like on like you've used it for like five years before I can enter under the net, right? So and I went to my house so I brought net. Net wow. And I brought net after airing it for like it, the net has been out of the what's it called nylon for the longest time. So it's just that like it was still folded. So when I brought it, I also kept it under the sun. Let it be that I've opened it and edit it again to be very, very sure. But it has been open like air has been touching it, okay? So I'm not finished airing it though. When I came and put my net here so I can enter under my bed and have my phone to deal with that mosquito disturbance and also having fresh air and you know, do my thing. Stayed like five minutes. Not now, that point, I was feeling myself. I was like, Okay, maybe it's not going to stop me. It works because um, it has been aired. You see, not how, like, after 30 minutes, like, deep in the night, when nobody was awake again, this thing has been itching my face. Jesus Christ. Ah, I wanted to run mad. I wanted, like, I ran mad. You see me crying now. I, I cried. I cried. I cried. I was like, crying like a baby in the night. What did I not do that night? I'll put the picture. It's kind of. I'll give you a disclaimer warning before you see the picture. Disclaimer is kind of irritating because my face was bad. Ah, guys, I suffered. And this was happening like Sunday night, I guess Monday. Then I'm starting my exam on Tuesday. I could not read again. And the Monday the papers I have for that Tuesday, I barely just read everything them. Okay, now, is it not how I not carry share butter? I applied. It did not stop carried palm oil i washed my face again put palm oil it did not work what did i not apply on my face i applied a uh, lavender oil it did not work what did i not do wash my face with super water it did not do i went online step browsing for first aid for net uh, reaction i did not say anything and also where they said do not apply any oil anything and i ran and washed my face i was just like i was just walking dead <laughs> because I was just like this, absorbing all the pains, all the pains that were itching my face, eh? My whole body, like, God. I, I had, like, I, that was the worst experience I ever had in my life. And I can't wish it for my enemy because it was very, very painful. If I'm not, like, let me force myself to sleep, sleep is not coming because my adrenaline is telling me that you've not finished today for your exam on on tuesday so you have to come you have to wake up i'll wake up me that i don't want to wake up because i'm waiting for the this was not until the night was the longest night i, I was waiting for the night to finish now i was sleeping to wake up 10 p.m i will sleep to wake up it's 12 p.m that was not working slow 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 i was like what's this thing now this thing should that should do and go Okay, I was sleeping and waking up two was spending me i was crying anytime i wake up i'll just start crying Early, early in the morning, around 6 p.m., 6 a.m., I just woke up, took my, wore my clothes, I didn't even, okay, I brushed my teeth, and I ran out, still, went and started looking for clinic. Now happened that the clinics in this area doesn't open by that time. I even went, like, to the main road looking for clinic, looking for every hospital self. How bad it was, because I was looking for anything that would quench that itching immediately. When I now got to... The mirror, I would not say any clinic, but I now still coming back. When I now reached to one place, I now say, I now ask people that we are around, please, this nurse I used to be here, do, where is her number? How can she call? All these things. And I luckily found her number. I now call her, she said she's coming. Her, it was as if she, she stood the whole year to come to the shop. Ah, when she finally came, I was like, no, please, anything that will make this itch to stop right now, now, and I want it. She now said, eh, hey, that she give me antihistamine. I said, for each, uh, give me, give me, give me. She now gave me one tube medicine, like, I applied it. So now I see the thing was coming down, but it was still itching me. And she now said, eh, hey, that I have to drink something, take a, like, medication, that I'll have to take medication to subside it. 
it's not not high when I finish because if you see how I rub the thing, I rub it like a mad person. So that thing will stop. Now, nah, now, nah. it's not that I came back. Now I wanted to take, and I took my bath to now like apply because I was feeling hot. And I tell him to take my bath and then apply it. Eh? This thing now came back again. I said, Jesus, what did I do to myself? I called her no zone. I'm not going to show her. I will not say this. This thing is a chimney. She doesn't have to come down into the store. I said, eh, come down here. Don't put. I said, no, then she around and put her. Tell me, it's now, 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 now. She said, no, she has gone back to pick up her. This one, this one. I said, God, I, be, I ran downstairs. There. there is this um, other clinic I was hoping to go to. And I went to that place. Thank God they were around. I was like, God, I was looking for a baby prefer and I ran. So when I came, the man was like, okay. I was telling him that, see, I've taken this medication and I applied this. I, because I came with the medicine. He now gave me another medication that I should drink it. I said, he should give me the, um, water. I drank it there and then. He now gave me another cream. Uh, not to, to apply and I applied it on my body. It now happened that the thing like subsided it. Then I said I should take five doses, like five one money, one night, one money, one night for five days. The medication is there. So and I said okay, and I finished applying it there. And I stayed there in case the thing will come back again. I said, let me stay here. So that this man will know that okay, <laughs> I'm serious. I stayed there, I was waiting for the something to subside. The actually subsided, but it was not really that much. So I stayed there till the evening when the sun was upon down, and I said, Let me start going so I can read my book. Because that thing frustrated me. I did not read my book for like how many hours? Up to like, up to 14 hours, at least 16 hours. Because from the night to the next day, ah, I was frustrated. After everything, Sha, if, if I take my bath, the thing will start itching me again. But it was not like that much. This was how I continued. I was taking the medication and applying the something. But you know me now. I will never hear what anything medication. If I just take it and it stops, I'm not taking it again. So it's not how I just stop taking the medication. If I finish bathing, the small small itches will be itching me on my back of my neck. I will still apply that cream there, and then I will I will be like okay, let me just know. I'll find myself then. Wait till the things of sight. Just after, and the next one, if I bath again, or the next night, I bath again. Anytime I bath, the things just happen again. Ah, eh? I'll just if the thing is intense, I'll go and drink one of the medication. Ah, <laughs> it's that stupid I can be. I'll go and take one medication <laughs> if it becomes intense. I'm like, why can't you just finish your medication? This year, eh? What is this? So, my dear guys, <laughs> this is how the episode happened and thank god everything just subsided but that night i left it outside since that day i never it's not entering this room again till april in fact till whenever because i'll be using my um repellent and shutters if i want to so that was how it happened so but the next day we went for the exam the exam was good though, till microbiology <laughs> I skipped out on microbiology students. Microbiology students. You guys are you guys are the real G. You guys what the, because ah, all those microorganisms, how are you programming their names? Eh? How are you remembering what this one is doing? How are you remembering the type? How are you remembering the spelling of that their long name? Eh? What kind of subject, what kind of course is that? Ah, my microbiology dealt with me. That was kind of the cause that I had issues with because I had to come and start writing in my brain. And another thing is the lecturer did not teach the part, but she gave the notes. So me on my own side, I did not read the notes because it was lengthy. I had to read other words. So I just read like limited words. And with the part she gave, it did not much. Like, I've not read it, so that was just it. So microbiology gave me issue and I don't know how I'm going to do that class because all those they are only remember one name plus plus spiral minus and tatilococcus aries streto coqui basilis ah the names eh you know this thing you are studying the course you are familiar with the names like you've had this somewhere in microbiology the only tatilococcus aries I've, I've had in my entire life only 
maybe for now that's the only name ah, so that was basically the cause that gave me issue and another thing uh, my son went well my son went well i'm very grateful to god ah i was able to write without asking questions <laughs> without telling answer ah can you do it have you done it now i'm not asking you that he's a medical student i know you are probably used to it. i'm asking you that he's doing social work you that is doing philosophy you that is doing combined combined social science mm, you so we used to tell people answer i used to answer you used to ask questions in the example but mm, it's not for you so guys i'm very very grateful very, i'm just anticipating the result i already know the ones i'll fail and i know the ones i'll pass so you know that situation whereby like results will come out in that way you are anticipating to fail you will not pass it you know that what <laughs> But I'm not sure that microbiology I'll pass it. <laughs> but they say it's 50 that is past my code. Maybe I'll pass it. Maybe I'll just get 50 on the dot. <laughs> ah, because that's how, that's how bad the exam was. The exam was not, it was not really good. But I'm praying to pass it in 50 years, guys. I'm, really, ah, I'm going to stand at that time for my ability. I turn on the math of course. Because that 50 years is going to determine whether I'm going to be a student in that school. I'm not going to be a student in that school. That's just the thing. That's just the fact. That's how it is. So yeah, that's my story. That's my episode for this few weeks that passed. I never even it's even to say I've not upload on YouTube. I not even do anything. I just forgot you guys. I'm very sorry about that, Sha. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notification, and get it to get notified this time I upload on this channel. Bye, love you. All.